Look at these kids riding their bicycles just at the shore. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm having a good time here. It's early morning, Friday. The sun is up, way up over there. But I'm loving it. This is the kind of lifestyle that I want to live, you know. Live by the beachside, do what you got to do. Don't stress yourself. But then let me tell you what is going to happen. So the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration has released a circular which informed the general public and relevant Ghanaian aviation authorities, airline companies and services that a visa waiver agreement has been signed between Ghana and then the Bahamas for holders of diplomatic service and ordinary passport. That is the best news we could ever have today. Echo, echo, echo city. Yeah, while I was making my video, I saw these brothers, you know, trying to catch some fish. But I didn't know that you could catch a fish just at the shore. So he, he threw the first one, he got some fish, and he's going to do it again. So I'm going to follow up and see what exactly what is going to happen. But after this, I'm going to read to you exactly what the government of Ghana and then the government of Bahamas put up in their letter stating that there is not going to be any visa requirement for Ghanaians, both Ghanaians and Bahamas citizens. All right, let's go. So beautiful. Just look at how greenery those coconuts are. I am thinking that if you're watching this video and you're from Bahamas, you will say that, hey, Echo, I'm seeing something similar with Bahamas and with Ghana. Thank you very much for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my YouTube channel, you know what to do. Just subscribe, share to your friends, like, and let's build Africa together. It's a good news out here today that I'm bringing you why? Because the government of Ghana and the government of Bahamas have come together to waive off visa requirement for both citizens. That is a good news, right? Yes, because uh, like Kwame Nkrumah, the vision was to bring Africans together, Pan-Africanism. And since he made the step, some of us would have to continue. So I want to applaud these two governments for coming together to, you know, wave off this visa to no to take off these restrictions from africans visiting their brothers and sisters in bahamas and bahama people coming over to africa or coming over to ghana i know you could see the resemblance in these two flags right this on my right is the ghana flag and that on my left for my brothers and sisters in Jamaica. Let me tell you something. Ghanaians are really fond of Jamaicans, especially the way they talk, the lingua, the patois. Anytime you find Ghanaians watching Jamaican movies or talking to a Jamaican, they are like this, trying to pay attention because the lingua is so beautiful. The lingua is so like uh, indigenous that everybody in Ghana, even sometimes when we're talking to our friends, if we want to show off with our friends, we try to be like, yo, wow, go on, brethren. You know, we try to speak like the Jamaican, uh, you know, people. So let me tell you something. Ghanaians do love Jamaicans. Jamaicans do love Ghanaians. Yes, so like I said, the two governments, uh, government of Ghana and then the government of Bahamas have waived off uh, visa requirement for passport holders here in Ghana and in Bahamas which is a good thing. I told you that Kwame Nkrumah was looking at Pan-Africanism and some of us like Wadamaya and the rest would have to continue this fight. And that is what we're doing. Reading more about Bahamas, I could say that Bahamas is one of the richest islands in the Caribbean. And I was like surprised. I didn't know about this until today when I got the news that, um, I mean, this news that uh, there's this visa wave of, I was like, okay, let me go read more about Bahamas, which is closer to Miami, Florida, United States. So that makes it kind of like a place closer to the United States where people go spend their money. And I also read that Bahamas is pretty expensive. But that is true. Why am I saying that is true? Because I tried, when I got this news, you know, because I travel around a lot and I heard this news and I would love to take 
advantage of this free movement no visa requirement like last year what happened in uh, november 2023 the government of ghana and then the government of south africa came together and said hey you don't need a visa to come to south africa the same way south africans don't need visa to come to ghana so i decided to make a trip to really test it if this is true that is how come i landed in south africa sent in johannesburg so where to it was just awesome I really, really love South Africa. So back to the issue, I think that this is a good news for African descent and Africans in the motherland to come together and work more. I know the majority of Bahamas people are black people and definitely you may trace them to the transatlantic slave trade, all right? But that is aside, we want to look at the positive side of this collaboration. I think that this is the best time for Africans to sell their products and services to brothers and sisters or to the people of Bahamas. Same way, you know, it is really hot right now in Ghana. The time is like 8 o'clock. Now that I'm making this video, it's a Friday morning and the sun is already scorching. And you could see that I'm really sweating. Uh, we're in the Hamatan season in Ghana, but the weather has kind of changed. A lot of heat. And in January, February, we don't expect rains in Ghana. But yesterday it rained, last three days it rained. It means that the climate has really pretty, pretty, pretty changed. And so it makes it, you know, when you go out and you don't take care, you, you sweat the whole day. Look at that. I'm at the beach and I'm sweating. How cool is that? I think that this is the best time for Africans and African descent to come together and share their products and services. So now I can easily pick a, a, a flight and then go to Bahamas. But there is always one thing that is disturbing. Always one thing that is disturbing. Why can't we have a direct flight from Ghana to the Caribbean? I think Nigeria uh, five years ago tried a direct flight from Nigeria to Jamaica, which I think it worked, but I don't know if, if it's still working like that, uh, which would have been a great move for Africans to connect with the people of Bahamas. Yes, because the rich history of Bahamas, the rich economy of Bahamas, if we could go there and learn a thing or two, I think it will help Africans really, really develop. You know, flight issue has always been an issue. So me being a traveler, I went online and I was like, okay, let me check how much it is to travel from Ghana to Bahamas since it's visa free. I don't need to pay anything to anybody. And the flight cost from uh, 3,000 US dollars. In, in, in my currency, it is about 30, 38,000 Ghana cities. 38,000 Ghana, that is a lot of money to travel from Ghana to Bahamas. Really expensive. And even that you would have to go through, even that you would have to go through the United States of America. I checked the flight that goes there. We have British Airways, we have Delta, we have United. And these two other airlines, apart from British Airways, goes through the United States. And if you don't have a visa to go through the United States, it means that you cannot go through Bahamas. So uh, it is a good news that, yes, uh, there's been the visa wave of which is good, but we are looking at how can we also go there? How can we go there and connect with our brothers and sisters? How can we go there on a tour? As you know, maybe some people want to go there on a honeymoon, you know, connect with their, you know, loved ones over there and all that. How do we do that if we have to go through the United States? And now, even getting a slot to attend a visa interview in the United States Embassy here in Ghana, Man, you would have to wait for 2025, 2026 because there's no slot available. The slot is full. You don't have any slot to go for interview to, you know, even get a transit visa to go to the United States. So it is good that we have this visa wave of done. Uh, but let's look at the other thing. Let's work on getting a flight straight from Africa, straight from Ghana to the Caribbeans, which I think will make a lot of meaning to this visa waves up. So thank you very much for checking me out. Put up a comment. If you are from Bahamas, I want you to just say something. Say anything about Bahamas. Just teach somebody who is a Ghanaian to know more because a lot of people, 
a lot of Ghanaians until today, like myself, I didn't know much about Bahamas. Same way you are ready to learn more about Ghana. Peace out.